Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about fishing games on the GBA. American Bass Challenge is an incredible game, and the most surprising part about the game is that it's inclined towards a simulation-like gameplay, and not towards an arcade-like gameplay how you would expect from a game looking like this. Like usual, in fishing games, you get quick play, practice, and tournaments. In the tournament mode, you work your way through the national tournament to win the first prize. And the game has a surprising amount of depth for such a cute looking game. You get plenty of lures to choose from, you get fish finders and the GPS system, you get other variables such as water temperature that really has an effect on whether or not the fish will bite or not. And not only the gameplay has depth. But the content has too. You get 5 lakes to fish in, 8 different types of lure, and 11 varieties of fish. This game is incredible. Aspen Great Outdoor Games is a very simplistic game. And while the simplistic formula feels good, it gets boring really fast. The gameplay is okay, but it's the content or the depth or the execution that makes the game good for the first minutes you play and tiresome the more you play. The game has an arcade approach to the gameplay, but even so, the way the content is packed is unenjoyable, even if the fishing itself is good. Content wise you get 3 lakes, and it's annoying that you don't go with your boat on those lakes. No, after you select the lake, you select where you want to fish. Then you are prompted to the screen from where you can cast, but you have a pretty limited range of motion. Overall, if you get past this flaws, the game is okay. I mean, if you just want to sit back, relax and fish, the game can offer you that. It even has the usual tournament mode, like all fishing games. So yeah, it's up to you. Monster based fishing is a monster, but in the bad sense of the word. The game is bad. First off, the graphics. They look awful. No matter where you look, the game looks awful. There aren't even effects in the water. It's just a picture. And the top of the bad graphics comes a gameplay that is lacking. If in the other games you had tournaments and quick play, here you have only quick play and challenge, the tournament has been replaced by challenges. And the challenges are kind of annoying, at least in my opinion. My recommendation is to avoid the game. It looks awful, plays awful, and its content is also awful. And Rapella Pro Fishing manages to compromise the simulation gameplay with the arcade one. The game looks very simplistic, I mean the interface at least, looks very simplistic, but it can put up a fight. The game is solid. As game modes you get quick play and challenge, you also get different lures to choose from, and what I like in the game is that depending on the size of the fish, it will be harder or easier for you to catch it. Bigger fish resist more and are harder to catch. So overall, it's a decent game that feels like a good compromise between simulation and arcade. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.